Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Because I'm in lockdown. Lockdown. My name's Jade and this is How to App on iOS. It's Monday here in Australia. I hope you're all kicking ass today. I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, I'm in the future, so I hope you're all having a good end to your weekend. Good to see you all in the chat as per usual. Uh, Sebastian Langston Reese, Tom Rochelle, Scott Russ, SM Borthwick. As I mentioned, as of midnight last night, my state, uh, Victoria, is in total four stage lockdown. We can't leave the house. There's a curfew after 8 p.m. It's pretty dire here at the moment. The old virus is back. And as of yes, last uh, yesterday afternoon, toilet paper is gone from the shelves once again and food is bare on the shelves. People are going crazy. Yay, it feels like Groundhog Day. It absolutely is. But let's forget about that for right now because we're going to look at Pixaloop today. And uh, it's really cool. It's really simple to use. And um, in this day and age where we're all making music um, in our home studios and such, you need to be a jack of all trades. So you need to be able to make videos and all that kind of thing, advertising to promote your music. So Pixaloop is really cool to help you out with that. Um, but as usual, let's have a look over at App Sliced. What's new over here? Been a bit slow lately, but I can tell you this one here, uh, Barber X Drums, is on sale from 14 bucks down to 99 cents. I can recommend it. It's good fun. It's a good drumming little thing. I'll probably maybe take a look at it, I think, next week because uh, we are getting ready for another drum week because I have a whole bunch of other drum apps I want to show you all, which are really cool. And um, we are going to be doing another little deep dive into Aurea Pro. I can let you know that because there were some uh, quite a few things I missed out on, like especially MIDI. And we're going to have another giveaway thanks to the guys at Wave Labs. They've said they're more than happy to do that again. Um, so this is Barber, Barber X Drums. Um, God, let's have a quick look at it. Let's see. Do I have it on here? There it is. So what is Barber X Drums? So it's 99 cents. So um, let's start playing. Yeah, I've got headphones on. Cool. Hey, man. Cowbell, yeah. So it's what's really good about this is, is definitely if you have an electronic drum kit, to hook this up because you can swap out drums, you can, um, but it is really great for using along with your electronic drum kit because it's a bit hard to play this way, tapping the screen with everything all over the place. Um, but yeah, that's a quick look at that. So I should really include that in drum week. I'm probably going to be looking at something um, I've wanted to look at for a while this week as well, which will be Luma Fusion. Going to do a show on that. And at the end of the week, we've got Iota, um, a really awesome uh, musician, uh, actor, who was in Mad Max Beyond Fury, uh, Fury Road. What am I saying? Beyond Fury, Fury Road. He's going to be on the show on Friday, man. And that is going to be really cool because he is an outstanding uh, musician and uh, actor. So let's have a look at Pixaloop. What are we doing today with Pixaloop? Um, and you might notice my voice is a bit raspy today. I will, oh, hang on, we'll do this first. A bit raspy. I've actually blown out a muscle in my neck from singing yesterday. I can't turn my head right. Uh, I've been working on a demo. I can play this because it's only a demo. I've been working on a demo with Brian Bigler, who was on the show, and that's a Pearl Jam cover. Um... <laughs> Yeah! But I blew my neck out singing this. Wow. 
So yeah, I blew my absolutely blew my voice out yesterday. Um, <laughs> trying to pull that shit off. That's only a demo for now. Um, so we are looking at Pixeloop. Uh, uh, g'day Pete, uh, Geno, uh, Therese. Um, on Pete's mobile q and I mentioned a high gain app. Well, let's cover that. What was it? It was... Um, shit's right at the end of my stuff here. I do believe it would have been THU, this one. THU over loud. Um, there it is there. So it's free to download, and but it's costly to add a whole bunch of apps. And if you sign up, so if you sign up over here, let's go, oh, let's go full screen for a bit. If you sign up up the top here, create an account, you get a whole bunch of free amp sims. So that's probably what I was mentioning yesterday. Um, and, uh, Langston Reese, have I tried Video Leap? It is something I'm going to cover this week as well, Video Leap. So it's made by the same people who make Pixel Loop. So thanks for bringing that up, Langston Reese, because I'm doing Luma Fusion. So I'm spending a bit of time on some video stuff this week because it's important. It is a part of making music, as I said. Uh, so look, Pixel Loop is free to download and you get a whole bunch of effects for free, but it, it is a subscription. So Australian, it's about $5.95 a month or it's like $24 a year. So it's not too expensive. Um, definitely if you're, you're creating a lot of music or little ads and stuff like that, and that's really handy. Hey, if you don't have the skills yet to use, you know, some of the video creation apps, this is really cool to take a photo. And as you'll see, you can create some pretty impressive animated stuff. Um, so that's that. Let's jump into it, I guess. Yeah. All right. Where is it? Um, I think I've got it over here. God, I've got too many apps. So this is what you presented when you open up the screen. Uh, as you can see, I've got some projects, quite a few in here. Um, there are a few that uh, they give you just to show, like, let's open one of the ones that you get just to play with. So this is the plain photo. Um, and when you hit play, there's a little play icon down here in the bottom right hand corner. You can kind of see how they've added just a very simple effect to that to give snow and, uh, and to make it look like all that snow's blasting off, which is really cool, you know. Um, and you, you know, and not every photo that you add into this has to be some kind of, you know, super animated, crazy shit. Um, so I'll show you, cause as you can see, just going through my list, there's a lot of parts with green screens that I have in here. And a lot of the parts of my movie are in here as well, because, um, a lot of the backdrops in my movie were made through this. And, um, like some things you'll see here, there's this little worm. Let's op open him up. So in my film, there's this there's this little planet within the film um, called Our Souls, <laughs> and it's these little worms who are the smartest beings in the entire galaxy. They're little bookworms, and they invented crossword puzzles. But they're all a pack of assholes. Okay, so they're from the planet Assholes, and in the film, they get so confident with their crossword puzzles and think they dominate the world so much that they overthink everything and uh, hit by a meteor and they will die. But, so I have a scene in the movie showing all these little worms crawling around and um, I, ha I wanted to animate them. So as you can see, he's on a green screen. So I've put this, drawn this little worm, put him on a green screen. And what I've tried to do with this is make it look like, if you can see that subtle little move through his tail to make it look like he's actually moving along. Because on the screen, there's hundreds of them. And I'll show you how you do that. So we'll start with just a basic animate. Now across the bottom, you've got all these tools here. 
And the first one is to animate. So when you click on that, you're given a whole bunch more tools. You've got uh, one called Path, Anchor, uh, Geometric, you can remove, and you've got the speed of the animation, freeze and loop. So the path is what I'm gonna use first. Now, as you can see, when I click on the path, it brings up a couple of things. I can zoom in and show you this. So the, the path is this line. Whoops, I didn't wanna do that. Let's go back. There you are. So you'll see there's a line going from the tip of his head all the way around here. So that is the animation I'm, I'm trying to push these lines to go, if we press play again, to push that way. Now you'll also see around the outside of it these little dots that are scattered throughout. So that's like a wall. Uh, so these are the anchors. And you can pop these all around. And these anchors um, create a wall around the image to stop the animation from bleeding outside of what you're trying to animate, if you understand what I'm saying. So, and you can you can pop as many of these as you want, anywhere you want. So you just hover around and, and uh, click. Here you go, so there's another one. Zoom in. You can pop them all over the place. And then you can grab them, move them around. Oops. So that's, and then I can change the speed of it so I can make him wiggle a lot faster. And that is just a brief look at that picture. So we'll jump into another one and show you something else you can do. Um, so let's look at this one. So here's another green screen picture. So if anybody knows the uh, movie, um, <clears throat> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. My film is kind of based on a part of that section uh, of the movie of 42. Um, so I have like during the film in the bottom left hand corner, whenever there's narration, I have this little fish pop up, which is the uh, fish that's from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And this translates into different languages during the film. So I wanted to animate the fish. So when I hit play, you get this little... Uh, I guess, warbling kind of fluttering effect. And it's again, I've, I've used the path section here. So you can see it's a bit more complex what I've done here for zoom in. I've got heaps of different directional arrows going around. So one over here pointing this way. I've got this one going all the way through and I've got another one. So you create lots of different arrows to, to make things uh, ripple in different directions and once again you can see i've got anchors all around that uh, for this particular photo so again let's have a look at say a scene so i've got a scene from my movie and we'll add some uh, elements and things like that so this is a basic scene from one of from my movie and in this scene um, a whole bunch of areas of this are all on fire and there's some robots marching down this street and there's people running away as you can see, there's a few dead bodies here. So it's a really complex scene, but this is exactly what I started with. So this was drawn in Procreate. Um, so this obviously took me a long time to, to draw and put together. And, and what you can add here, so let's go across and you can see there's a sky here. So when you click on that, you're given a whole bunch of little different skies. And what's really intuitive about it is you just need to click on one and it fully uh, uses the algorithm to just replace the sky that's already there. Really clever stuff. So let's click on one and look at that. So that one's probably not exactly what I want because of the darkness. So it's cutting out the, the uh, rest of the scene. What else have we got? That's uh, probably a little bit better. And when you hit play, these skies actually animate as well. And you can change the speed of these skies as well. So you've got this little ellipsis here in the middle of the, the actual photo. And when you click on that, you get a whole bunch of other options like opacity and the horizon. So you can, you can get rid of a lot. You can feather out anything that's not looking right. Let's see what we can do with the uh, ambience here. 
so you can see it, it when you hit the ambience it kind of matches more of the the color of the sky if you've got problems there you've got the opacity so you can pull that right out and the feathering so you can see if I turn that all the way up let's just get rid of this ambient effect so you've got a whole bunch of different skies you can add in which is really cool um, let's get out of that let's just add a few more different ones so you've got sunsets um, you've even got things like lightning so when you hit play pretty damn cool you know probably not the the best uh image for me to pick for this for to show sky uh, so let's just clear that off for now and we'll go back and have a look at um so this is a new thing they've added so i, I haven't really looked at this this is beat loops it's something probably i won't use it's a It'd be cool if you could import your own music into it. That would be awesome. So hopefully they add that in the future, but it looks like they've added some music to this. Um, oh no, so it's an effect. Cool, this is the first time I'm seeing this. So what's this house one? Not much. Um, do we get options? No, no options. Interesting. Something I'll have to look more into. It's obviously come in the latest update. So you've got effects as well. Uh, let's skip that one for now. So you've got elements. Let's go to elements because you can add additional things like uh, f fire, smoke. So let's add some smoldering. Let's get some smoke here. And you can add this. Say so we'll put this over here. Okay, and you can change the, let's put it somewhere where you can actually see it a bit better. And you can change the size of these elements. Um, it's probably a bit light for this picture. So let's grab some fire. Let's add some fire. Fire! So you can add flames there and get them burning, um, which is a really cool effect. What else have we got along here? So there's a... Geez, they've changed the interface heaps since the last time I used this. So you've got um, so clouds. You can add your own clouds. There's so many different things. Oh wow, they've added animals as well. Let's add a a bird. There we go. So I can add an owl, an animated owl. So there's, as you can see, plenty, plenty, plenty of cool, really th cool things here. Um, rain lightning again um what else wow they've they've added so much more i'm going to use a whole bunch of these a waterfall I've, i was wanting this for ages a waterfall that is really damn cool look at that um what else so you've got uh, disco lights plants they have really increased this and this is you'll get all this stuff so here's some lightning. That's pretty cool. So you got can put those anywhere. I'm not sure how many you can have. They've probably increased it because they're always updating this app. It's really fantastic that they're doing that continuously updating it. Um, let's get back. Let's show you something else. Uh, if I can work out how to get out of here which I don't know how to do anymore. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So uh, what else can we have on here? We've got, uh, that was elements and these are overlays. So you can add things like rain. I'm gonna hit play. So there you've got some rain. You have uh, smoke glitter things like that some more lightning and as you can see there are plenty of things to add within the toolbar here and it's you can uh actually there's an eraser button so this is really cool too so if you've if you've added something you don't actually want lightning to hit you can actually draw over part of the screen where you don't want an element to actually appear so when I hit play again, 
So that can be handy for, you know, if you just wanted to say, do this sky area. So definitely some really cool effects in here. Now, I think you can only have one at a time from memory. Let's uh, throw something else in here. Uh, this is cool for like a film effect. Uh, so flowers floating around, bees. You've got full on the uh, matrix kind of effects going on. More lightning. There's there's so much stuff buried in here. It is really incredible. You've got things like 3D motion. So you can get your camera to jiggle around like a Hollywood kind of uh, scene. Like that. How cool is that? Um, so these are new, the 3D ones. They are super cool. Um, been using these for a couple of my scenes. These are absolutely brutal, especially for a quick scene. So I'm, I might show you one of the other scenes I've been working on. Let's get out of here. So here's actually the scene from my movie. I'll give you a look at this. This is what I've made. Uh, so we'll hit play. So as you can see, along the bottom, I've added some smoke. I've got a different sky happening there. And because of that problem we had with the uh, buildings not working with the sky, that's why I've added a whole, whole bunch of fire in here, fire effects. So that's one of the scenes from my film. And I'll scoot across into here and I'll show you the section. Let me just turn down the volume here. because I don't want it to be too loud. This is the actual scene of my film, just so you see it with the other animation that I've done. So as you can see, we'll play it again because it's only short. So yeah, you can make some really amazing backgrounds. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, let's jump back into that app and let's have a look. So just simple stuff. So here's another scene in my movie where at the end of the film, uh, there's a scene where the lead character is, is kind of virtually going to heaven. Uh, so what I wanted to do with this particular scene was this picture here, which I made in uh, Photoshop. And I wanted these stairs to animate. So if you have a look at the path I've made, I've made these points along the edge and I've used for this, this geometric setting. Okay, so you can see it lights up now that I've selected it. And I've made um, points along each point of the step. Okay. So I want each step to actually like flip up like an escalator to give you the effect of an escalator. So when I hit play, you can see that is the effect that is happening there. And that's just a very simple thing that um, I threw together, you know, and it only took a few minutes to, to do. Let's uh, have a look at something else. There's another scene in here, just to give you another idea of, of things you can do. So this is a scene where a cow in, in my movie is actually sacrificed, uh, nailed to a cross. And um, I wanted the cow to be writhing on the cross to give an effect that he's like trying to get off uh, from the nails. So let's have a look at the paths that I set. So again, I've just set small paths around the mouth, the shoulder and the stomach and just on his hands. And what I have done different here, I'll just click over this button here, this freeze. This is an alternative to placing anchors because sometimes the anchors don't work perfectly with certain scenes. So as you can see the color change when I jump off. So basically what I've done is use this freeze button like an eraser and filled in everything that isn't the cow to ensure that only the cow animates. That's how that works, that freeze button. So if I hit play, and I've added another effect there of the camera kind of moving around and just tilting slightly back and forward, just to give you that. And it's only a very short, you know, 
two to three second part of the film where you just see this for a, a slight bit so it's just a, a frame kind of thing a couple of frames but i can you can even change the loop the, see this is set to like a boomerang loop it's called um where it's it's going around in a figure eight but you can change that to be more of a a wave so the it's called a blend it's really good for water um and this one's a pulse more of a heartbeat kind of back and forward uh doesn't see how it doesn't look natural for what i was trying to do with this is more of that writhing and the reason i added the camera moving around was to make it not look so um because it, it looks tacky but that's my film <laughs> so there's that what else have we got here um um, I think I've done some ads for, so these were for some demos. If I've put music up on the GarageBand users group, um, for the beginning of like a LumaFusion clip, I've probably, I don't even know if I've animated this yet. So here's the animation I've added for an ad for my album, where I've made the, the album cover animate a little bit, a little bit of an effect at the back and the spotlights, and you can see fire above the uh, non-conformist there. So these are all elements that have all just come from this. And it, I mean, without all these elements, it was pretty bland. What else do we got? Let's have a look at, so I've got another scene from a movie will pop up here. So this is another piece of art um, that I uh, drew in Procreate. And so what have I added here? I think I've added some smoke and a couple of flames so there's a flame there what have we got overlays let's animate it so the only piece of fire that i've added to this that is not a part of this photo is the top one up here that's one of the elements all the rest uh, the fire was actually already in the photo so when i jump over to animate click on the paths you can see i've just added arrows to each of the pits of fire and the smoke to make the smoke start moving up. So everything's pointing up. And if I hit freeze, have I? So I've made sure that all the buildings are not able to be animated. So, you know, a bit time consuming to get in there, but with an Apple Pencil, it's really easier to do than a finger, but highly able to be done with your finger as well. Um, but definitely you can see there is a lot you can do just with a simple photograph i'll show you how this scene has turned out as well we'll jump over and show you with all the animation that i've added to this uh where are we here make sure the volume's down because it's probably loud um this is that scene oh it's got no sound there you go so yeah i've added in spaceships and a few explosions and these soldiers marching so as you can see like pretty sick stuff to come from uh just a, a basic plain background um uh what is so let's go over the pricing models i think i covered the pricing models where are we so you're looking at uh 5.99 a month australian so what it's probably half the price in the rest of the world and 28.99 a year so about 14 bucks for a year that's pretty good value for all that kind of stuff and as i said they're constantly updating the app so there's always plenty of cool stuff that they keep adding and since the last time i opened it which was only a couple of weeks ago um, they've added a whole bunch of new things that i need to explore myself is there anything else in here i can go over um so there is let's have a look so here's another scene i'll probably um in this one what have i done here nothing it looks like i could see there's another one there of the same photograph and i've done nothing to that for some reason so i really <laughs> should go through this another one with the cow who uh is slightly writhing a little bit so again just small little touches to make th these things look cool here's another one um there's a scene, this scene's no longer in the film, it's a different car now, but what I wanted for this scene was to make the wheels look like they were um, spinning, and it looks like I haven't even actually done it. Oh, so there's a path, all right. 
So I've set the anchors here. So let's do this live on the fly. So I should be able to just draw an arrow going around. That's probably a bit too fast. And I probably would, let's delete that. And let's try doing that. Nope. And it's all just finding the exact way to do it. And obviously I've probably not done this before because here we go, let's try this. So if I freeze the middle of the, and then try and draw a path around it, and then hit play, it's a little bit better. So let's get rid of that. So you can play with it and get the desired effects you want quite easily. And I'd probably, let's go try this, let's see what, uh, so boomerang's not working, a pulse isn't, so the blend is probably the best one to go. So it's all a trial and error thing. This is um, the album cover of um, one of my album covers. I did an ad for it and animated part of the fire behind it. So this was one of the ads when I released the album. Um, let's grab something with some water. I'm sure I've got one here with some water. Uh, did have, where did I see it? Uh, this one. So down the bottom here too, you've got water effects. So you can add these in and they'll animate small waves. So you can see that it's, it's already built in. So you don't really have to self draw the animations and things like that. So you've got waves, just a little glistening of the water there. But really, really cool effects. I love it. Um, anything else? Uh, so I'll show you a couple of things that I have made. I think I showed you, where are we? So the cow, some of the scenes from the movie. Let's jump in over here before we go. And... So this is, I'll show you here. So this girl in the wheelchair, she was made. Let's pause that. I'll just jump back over to Pixel Loop because I'm sure she was in here. The girl in the wheelchair from my film. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I can't see her now. There she is. So what I wanted to do in here was make her wheel wheels look like they were turning and to give her hair a bit of a flow. So that's her on a green screen. And we shall get out of there. And this is how she's been added into my film. A lot of this isn't finished, so there's bits missing out of that. As you can see, lightly in the background there, there's these hands over here. Uh, these are like hands that are, they were a still photo again. They were done in Pixel Loop as well. So they're kind of moving and reaching for her. So all the water there was done in Pixel Loop. And all the fire here added into this photo. And this is just some zooming in LumaFusion.
show you one more bit. Let's scoot over here. So there's a whole uh, section in my movie here. Um, so all of these bits here were all, all the backgrounds, a lot of them done in this as well. So this background was animated, those birds were added, the smoke in the background, and this was that photo you saw before. So I've animated these little animals running down the cliff, there's a little alligator down in the bottom <laughs> right hand corner. Let's see, I'm sure there's a couple of scenes coming up. Um, let's see. I'll show you the scene of the cow getting nailed to the cross. So again, all the movements of the cow was made in pixel loop. Um, some of the birds were added, the sky in the background's animated from pixel loop as well. But this is a whole bunch of layers all built on top of each other. So there's about four layers of this. Anything else in here? Let's see. Um so here's, I'll show you this before and we'll wrap it up. This whole scene virtually, as you can see that car, which I said is no longer in the film. This is that whole scene. So this house, all the trees in this scene, the girl, her hair and everything. So you can see the trees moving, the swaying of the trees, the sky moving in the background here, all done in pixel loop. Um, the animation of the gates and stuff are all done in um, LumaFusion, which open in a minute. And you can see her hair's moving, the wheelchair girl. So it's an incredible app. So yeah, there we go. Oh, there's the gates closing. <laughs> I don't even know what the next scene is. Oh, there we go. So there you have it. That is the Pixar Loop. Um, it's an incredible, incredible app. You can do so many really cool things with it. Um, from doing uh, Facebook, social media ads, to animating album covers, to shooting your own video clips, all this kind of stuff. And it can all come from a single still frame photo. Fantastic stuff. I recommend this so much. I love it. I think it's absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, so that's it for today, I guess. Thank you all for hanging out with me once again. Tomorrow, I think we'll be looking at LumaFusion or we'll probably just jump into, uh, what I say? <laughs> um, so there's LumaFusion. So tomorrow, we may even jump into Video Leap as well because it's made by the same people. And it pretty much is a door for making movies. It's a movie editor and it's really incredible for using green screen stuff. So I'll decide in the next few hours which one I'm going to do. But um, this is kind of photo video kind of week. Who knows, we might end on something musical before we have Iota on the show on Friday. But yes, that is it for today. I'm going to go get ready for my run. I'm only allowed to leave the house five kilometers away from where I live. Or the police, the popo's going to take me down. But I've got to go for my walk. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in this world. And I will see you the same time, same bat channel tomorrow. And take it easy. So, stay gangster, stay creative, folks. And keep smiling during all these tough times. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.